What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. A couple weeks ago I sold my mountain bike. I had a 2020 Specialized Stump Jumper, uh, 29 inch wheels on it. Uh, I sold it because I was ready to upgrade. I only had it for a little bit, uh, really like a month, maybe a month and a half at the most maybe. So I started texting people, started emailing people, trying to figure out what bike to get, um, whether I wanted to do trail, enduro, or downhill only. Um, I decided in the end I wanted an enduro bike. Um, and after, geez, I don't know, maybe two weeks of just nonstop research on what I wanted, I finally came up with the bike. Let me tell you, this thing is a beast. I love it. I've only done little trail rides. I mean, like flat ground, very beginner level stuff. But it is just a monster and just goes through everything. So, without further ado, here it is. My 2020 Transition Patrol X01 carbon frame in transition gray. I absolutely love this thing. It is a beast. Looks so sick. So I've got Fox 36 Performing Elites up front, 170 millimeters with a 37 millimeter offset. We've got the rear coil, Fox DHX2s. Um, I really like the coil. Um, that's something new for me, but so far I've been really enjoying it. Actually, it looks pretty sick too. All right, I'm gonna go in sections here for you guys. We've got the ANVL Mandrel 30 handlebars. Nice logo right there. They look very sick. I really like them. And then you've got the OD Elite Pro Grips, but this bike comes with the OD Elite Flows. I recently changed them out to the OD Elite Pro, which uh, the link to these are down in the description. For Shifter, we've got Eagle Technology SRAM X01s. We've got SRAM Code RSC brakes, both sides. For the seat post, we've got the RockShox Reverb 175. All that means is just 175 millimeter. It goes up in increments of 25 starting with 125 millimeter for the small and then going all the way up to 200 in the extra large and let's come on over to the wheel set we've got the stands flow mk3s up front so the orange i'm not a fan of orange at all but the orange wheels with the fox 36 elites i don't know it just looks really sick to me so i am kind of turning into a fan on the, at least the orange on this bike um, where are us? Okay, so the tires. The tires, we've got the Minion DHS up front, up to 50 PSI. And you notice, these are 27 and a half inch wheels. These are no longer what I'm used to in terms of the 29. So I've dropped the size down. Um, I guess I can talk about that in a later video. But I like it so far. Um, I've got no issues with dropping down to a 27 and a half. Um, but also, I haven't done very many downhill extreme trails yet either. So I guess when that time comes, I'll well, see how they hold up. Uh, for the rear, the same thing, we've got the Maxxis Minions. However, these are the DHR2s. The wheel set in the back is the same. Nothing's different back there. Now, as I start working over the cassette, you can see that I've got a little bit of a grime already built up on the chain, just from some everyday rides. Nothing crazy so far, so it might be time for a nice clean. But for the cassette, we've got the SRAM XG, and then for the chain, we've got SRAM GX Eagle. Damn, I think it does have a little bit of a grime on it. Um, SRAM Descent Carbon Dub for the the uh, crank. I'm not too sure how I feel about the carbon crank. I don't know. Some of my buddies told me not to go with it, but oh, I took a risk, I guess. Hopefully I don't ding it on any rocks because that thing will probably break pretty easy. And then lastly for the rear derailleur, it's the SRAM X01 Eagle. Same thing. The shifting on this thing is just so clean and smooth. I really like it. And I think, oh, I guess I can, I got the all mountain protector on here. So I've got it on the sides, got it underneath, uh, just to give the frame a little bit more protection. I actually took a little bit of a fall the other day. Held up pretty well. Didn't do anything to the frame. So yeah, there it is. There's my 2020 Transition Patrol X01 Carbon. If you're wondering what the Stan's MK3 hub sounds like, give you guys a little bit of a, a sound check. Sounds nice. Right now, I've got zero complaints on this bike. But like I said, I've gone on no mountain rides, which I will be doing some very soon, maybe even later today. Um, I've only done some flat stuff, but sorry about that. Other than that, I really enjoy it. I am super happy with this. 
and the total build for this whole bike if you include the the pedals that i put on there you're looking at about sixty three hundred dollars without tax with tax you're almost up around seven thousand for this bike it is well worth it i absolutely love it and i hope you guys stick around to see what kind of trails we get into and how much fun we have with this bike this was not intentional whatsoever but look at the color of my bike and the truck it's almost the same color how sick is that i did not plan that i did not get the bike because of the color matching my truck it was just totally coincidental there you have it that was my 2020 transition patrol x01 in the carbon build hope you guys enjoyed it and stick along because i'm gonna have a lot of fun on this bike i'm gonna go on a lot of journeys a lot of road trips a lot of mountain rides it's gonna be a great time so please stick along and stay tuned for future videos thank you